Hello beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Carmen Q, and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial video. I definitely pulled inspiration from Rihanna's Wow Thoughts video, and obviously I chose look two with the blue eye and the red lip. I think this is such a sexy makeup look. I love the fact that it's so bold and bright. I absolutely love it. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, stay tuned and watch my video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the content and you just like what your girl is doing. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's hop on into the tutorial. Bye! Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer and I'm going to apply this all over my face and my neck, making sure to cover each part so that I get a flawless foundation coverage later. Now I'm gonna take this aqua green eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna apply this to the lid of my eye. This is gonna serve as the base for our eyeshadow in this look. I'm putting on just enough product to make sure that the intensity of the color comes through. Now I'm gonna take my finger and blend this out up towards the crease and trying to blow out and diffuse the color. Here's our Kat Von D matte eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna take oak and apply that to the crease of the eye. Um, I'm taking it in as far um, as the inner corner and I am making sure to put enough color on so that we can see it but not enough where it's overpowering because we are going for a blue eye. Now I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and blow this out. Um, blending was a big part of this makeup look. You cannot blend enough so make sure that you are blending um, as much as you possibly can. Now I'm going to reach for my BH Cosmetics 120 color palette eyeshadow and I'm going to take that green and that blue and mix them together and pack them onto the eyelid. Um, again I'm applying very little product and then I'm blending it out and then I'm adding more product and that's how I'm going to achieve my look. Now let's um, blend this out as well. I'm going to take my time to blend this out make sure it blends seamlessly into each other and then I'm going to reach for my 120 palette again and take that deep blue and put it on the outer corners of the eye and kind of dragging it into the crease so that when I blend it it kind of covers that brown color we had but not all the way so you're gonna see me just adding um, the blue to the other eye and then you're gonna see me take a clean fluffy brush again and blending it out okay um, I'm cleaning this brush in between applications so that's why I keep saying a clean fluffy brush because you don't want a brush with product on it you just want to make sure you're diffusing the product that's already on your eye so that when you add it you know exactly what you're adding to your eye so you can see that the intensity keeps getting brighter and building up and that's because like I said I'm going back and forth between the crease color and the lid color. Now I'm going to take my LA Girl um, concealer and it's the green. It's to cancel out the redness of my blemishes. Green cancels out redness so that's why I'm going to apply that like this. Then I'm going to take my finger and blend the product out. This does two things. It warms the product um, and helps the foundation go on flawlessly. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me foundations in two different colors and I'm applying them to my damp beauty blender and now I'm going to apply my foundation all over my face and my neck. Um, the reason you apply it to your neck is so that you're all one color. Now I am going to take my LA Girl Concealer in Creamy Beige and um, apply that under the eyes, down the center of the nose, on the cupid's bow, on the chin, and in the middle of the forehead. Um, again, all the products will be listed below because I can't remember all of them. Now I'm going to blend this out with my beauty blender, my damp beauty blender I should say, and making sure to go slow so I don't mess up the outer corners of my eyeshadow and just making sure to pat it in and get that nice, flawless look that you want. You know what I mean? So pat, 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 please. Don't swipe, pat. Now I'm going to start baking with a translucent, transparent um, powder by MAC. 
and I like to make sure I get in the crease of my nose too. So now that I look all crazy, I am going to be reaching for my LA Girl Concealer in a darker um, color. And this is going to be for my contour. I'm going to do the um, top of my forehead or my hairline um, to make my forehead less big and then my cheekbones. If you have to make the fish face, do that so you can find your cheekbones. And then I'm going to take a small um, stippling brush and I'm going to blend that out. I like to do this first because it moves the product around my face and I can kind of control where most of it goes. And I can do this without adding too much of the product and still blending out. And then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend out. And this allows you to add kind of some foundation onto the um, contour so it's not so harsh and it's still um, making sure the product is you know going into your face then I'm going to take my give me Sun by Mac and my Kat Von D um, contour brush and I'm going to apply that all over where I just contoured and I'm also going to go underneath my chin and bring it down to the neck so that that has a snatch and now I'm going to snatch my nose with a small shader brush. And after I line my nose, or contour my nose, should I say, I like to blend that out with a um, small stippling brush too, to make sure that it's not a harsh line and that, you know, I don't look crazy. <laughs> then I'm going to take off the baking powder there and apply some Love Joy blush, and this is also a blush by MAC. It is not too pink, not too red. It is perfect, and I absolutely love how it made my look um, come out. So I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Smile, and those circles are the apples of your cheek. All right, here comes the Nicole Guerrero um, highlight palette, and I'm taking Glow Getter and applying that to the highest part of my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And I also like to take a fluffy brush and kind of blend that out so it's not so harsh. You can always add more if you dole it out, but you want to make sure it's not blotchy. I finished my eyes off camera, and now I'm going to line my lips. And I'm just taking a NYX red eyeliner pencil and applying um, liner to the outer part of my lips. I end up going in and filling in with the lip liner it's just to make sure that my lips stay red throughout the day and the liquid lipstick I'm using has a good base now I am taking the NYX liquid suede uh, cream lipstick in the color 11 and applying this to my lips take your time because red is so hard to clean up so it's better to go slow and steady so you win the race with uh, less cleanup you guys, I loved filming this look for you guys. Let me know if there's any more looks you want me to film for you. Um, and please don't be afraid to leave some constructive criticism down below for me. I love to read you guys' comments and I love the fact that you're taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Now, after we've applied our liquid lipstick, we're looking a little basic, so let's Another get one. Rihanna Wild Thoughts look. There it is, beauties. Thank you so much for watching my video. And so next week, kisses and hugs. Stay beautiful. No, you wanna see me naked, naked, naked.